Day off? <laughs> Ready? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I'm excited because today I'm gonna take you around a course that's very special to me because this is the exact spot where I was first introduced to the game of golf. Back then it was called Orange County Country Club. Now it is West Hills. Um, it's it's a beautiful spot in Orange County, not far. How long do you think you get here from uh, North Jersey, Mike? Uh, 38 minutes. Uh, 38 Forty minutes? North. About an, I would say about an hour, hour and 15 minutes north of New York City. Anyway. Uh, my father first started playing the game in the 80s. He joined here as a member. He's been a member here almost 30 years, and he first brought me out here. So like I said, a lot of nostalgia for me. But they did a complete redesign, uh, course redesign, just a handful of years back. Added some new holes. They added an entire par three course. So as we get to those holes, I'm going to take you through some of those, some of the changes, because it's pretty epic. And like I said, it's a beautiful track. I'm excited to get out there and play. The second hole is a beast. Wait till you see it. All right, first hole, not terribly long. Par four, only 324 yards. I've seen people go for this green. However, the green is incredibly tricky. It's a turtle back shape. So if you're not right on, it's gonna roll off into a world of trouble. Gotta be precise here. about to call 811. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Digging. You gotta get up and over. Get a nice little 52. It looks good. He's over. Middle of the green. That's it. That's like I said, that's all you want to do. I see it up there. Let's hope it doesn't roll off the back. That's it. It does get tricky. <laughs> Alright. All right, guys, this is the second hole. It's a par five. We're going to play the blacks from this hole because I love the look from this tee box. Check this out. Interestingly, a little bit of history. This used to be the blue tee boxes when this was a par four. But since the redesign, it has been lengthened. There is a turn left at the end that brings a lot of water into play, which previously wasn't in play. So now it is a par five. It is a tricky par five. It requires either two bombs to reach this green because you've got to go over water and then over water, or three very precise shots. And your first tee shot, like I said, is a beautiful shot over the Walk Hill River. Mike, I love this tee shot. You ready to do it? Dude, it looks so pretty from up here. I can't stop taking photos of it. It's incredible. <laughs> and that bridge, believe it or not, is 100 years old. Really? Yep. Wow. Yep. Still standing. Oh, it's okay if it holds. I think it's over there by that tee box. Okay. Scrambling. So, the Walk Hill River rides this hole to the right, so a slice gets you in trouble. Left, you get blocked out by those trees. That looks good, man. That's, the, shot right That's there. the exact shot you want. Right That's side, fairway. Let's do it. Good shot, great position. Anything left brings that water into play. So you gotta stay right. Smart move. All right, what are you looking at here? All right, I got 72 to the front. Not a ton of green to work with. And that's all a false front. You see where the West Hill sign is? Mm -hmm. That's a false front. So if you hit the front of that green, I've seen plenty roll back into the water. All right. So, so it's better to be a more. little bit longer. Smart. Oh, I like it. Oh, I like it a lot. I like it. Great shot. Birdie putt, buddy. All right, you want to do a side bet? What's the side bet? Can if I can get, get it in closer, come on, really? 
I mean, you're in what, four feet? About four, yeah, four feet. It's not, a, I'm not gonna take that bed. No. So that's off Maybe the leave that one yeah, on the Yeah, right. you got that. Yeah. This, however, I'm gonna try something a little different. I would normally play a 60 on a drier, firmer fairway. It's a little moist here. I don't want to dig too deep and come up short, so I'm gonna try to play 48 and run it. Oh, the old Scotland the old shot. Scotty shot. Here I like go. it. Yeah, she's she's soft. Yeah, barely touched that. She's soft. Yeah. She's soft today. Come on, I want to get inside of it. Ooh. I didn't take the bet, but it's still a great shot. It's still a great shot. Are right, you ready? We're gonna put this birdie in. Frank to take the hole. And just like that, he takes one. Birdie, baby. Well deserved. Well played, hole. Tell me about this one. So this is one of the new holes. So like I said, about 10 years ago when they did a complete renovation, they added all the holes that you see up this way, up the mountain. They just kind of carved some in. So four, five, six, seven, eight, all new holes, right? Interestingly enough though, par five, very challenging because although short, 417 yards, it is a 90 degree turn to the right after your tee shot. And those bunkers across the fairway, they're only 265 out. Ooh, okay. So you almost have to go no driver on this par five. I've gone before, if you're gonna hit the screen too, you almost have to do three wood, three wood. But you got a driver. Yeah. Tell so, me about it. Yeah. You love this hole. Yeah. You love this hole. Well, here's my thought. We got a heavy wind coming off the left, so I'm playing into the wind. I figure if I can just cut a ball, when I when I hit that fade, it only ends up going about 260, 265. So, but, but if I get everything through and it goes straight, I'm gonna be in a load of trouble here. So the goal is to kind of cut yeah, it, leave it in that fairway. Because straight. Because even on the, on the map over there, I confirmed it, it's about 285 to that right side of that fairway. One thing I'll give you, everybody does try to cut those trees. Uh -huh. They go deeper, deeper. You actually need a lot if you go over them. Okay. You can go around them. If you go over them, it's deep. Okay. Oh, I like it, Mike. Plan executed perfectly. Now you are definitely going to have a second shot in at the screen. Yeah, it said in that area about 185 in, but it's straight up hill. So. Risk reward though, that's a risky shot, it paid off. Alright. Alright Frank, you saw what I did there. You're going hybrid, this is your home track. I'm going to use your tee in case it was lucky. That's fine. I'm going hybrid because my shot shape is right to left, not left to right. Mm -hmm. I don't think I could play that fade. So my ideal shot, I like to put a hybrid out there about 225, which just gets me past the turn. And then I just take a look at the lie for if I have a chance to go for the screen or not. All right. Great shot. You got a little bit of a fade with that I hybrid. Or not, I did. Because I tried to take a little off of it. And you see what happened, but good shot. All right, so just to follow up, by keeping it short with the hybrid, I kept those out of play because the driver's probably gonna put them in. However, I don't have a straight shot at the screen. I had to play another fade. It's only 2 230. So I'm gonna play a little more conservative. Oh, I see Some people by the way in the comments have been asking us why we don't play more conservative. So I'm gonna try it. All right. I'm gonna hit an eight iron and try to leave myself a wedge out. I like also, it. Also, I, I like the eight iron because I like the eight iron because it takes all those those front bunkers out of play. Too. Smart, yeah. Conservative golf, Frank. Let's see it. Let's see if it does anything for us. gonna set you up for a good third shot the other thing of not reason not to get aggressive that whole tree line is white stakes yeah. I've gotten myself in trouble before you push it out it's OB it's not red stakes well speaking of aggressive you know what I'm gonna do oh you're gonna get aggressive yeah, yeah. I got gotcha. you <laughs> all right all right not bad to be 164 in on a par 5 man yeah we're going up there though probably play about more 180 right definitely one up club because and you also have a two-tier green your good news is it's on the lower tier on the lower tier yeah Okay. When they have tournaments here and they put that on that top tier, that is a tough, tough pin position. Okay. Oh, it's working nice back. Might be too much. I just, I was, I was teed up here. I had a feeling it might have been a flyer, but. But listen, you got, good. it's a safer chip over there because there's no bunker right where you are. Like All the lot. bunkers are left side. I'm happy with it. Yep.
All right, so this hole is the par 3 eighth and it is 170 yards from where we're playing right now. Funny little story, um, like I said earlier, my father's been a member here for a long time and uh, he has one of his three hole-in-ones that he has on this course. One of them happened here and fun fact, it is the only hole-in-one that I have witnessed firsthand. So I've been a witness to it, but I've never had one myself. You want to try to change that here, Mike? Let's, do that. Let's try to change that. Middle pin position, 170. Let's put one in. Let's do it. Nope, his record safe. I like your line. Ah, eight iron was not enough. Front green. Not enough. All right, better be putting from the front of this green, yeah. in my opinion. Walking up to that par three, like this. Okay. Not a bad place. I came up a little short, but like Frank said, I'd rather be in the front of this green than behind it. Obviously, there's a lot of slope back there. Looks like a straight putt for birdie. Gotta love birdie putts. It's uphill, you need more pace. You had that line, though. Had that line. Look you at had that. that line. All right, kick in par. Good par. So when they did the renovation and they added all these extra holes, what they did is they converted some of the old holes to a par three track, which is down there, which is great. I use it sometimes to work on my short game. It's a nine hole par three track. We actually did a video there once before, um, and we're gonna be heading down there soon to do another challenge, a little uh, hole in one challenge. So it's a fun little addition and extra thing. It was cool to see them reuse some of the greens that were, were previously here because don't forget this course is o also over 100 years old so that some of these greens have been here for quite a while It'd be ashamed to waste them so it was cool that they reused a bunch and were able to create a, uh, a little par 3 track right in the middle All right, 10th hole, another one of those holes that was changed during the renovation. This used to be a par four. The tee shot was still the same, but what they did is they lengthened it. They brought the uh, green about another 100 yards, 70 to 100 yards closer to the river, and it is one of the toughest greens I've ever played. Mike, everything runs off, and if you go long, there's a very good chance of rolling down into the back bunker or into the river. So, you really have to set yourself up with a good approach shot here. Yeah. I like to hit driver, and then usually hybrid, and then a 52 if I can, if I can get it there. Okay. You go straight, you're going through the fairway, yeah. and I've, I've hit into that bathroom. Yeah, that. Yeah. Rude awakening for somebody who's on the ball. <laughs> but uh, the ideal shot is to go over these trees because the thing goes right. But it's a little scary going up and over those trees. Perfect. That's the key shot right That there. is position A plus plus. Great ball. Yeah, this is where all the cameras come out. So we're gonna play the blacks here because this tee shot is too beautiful to pass up. The blues are down closer to the river. Uh, you know what, I'm not even gonna explain it, just look at it. Is that a pretty tee shot or what, Mike? It's gorgeous. I love the elevation here. Yeah. Just looking down the whole thing, you see all of the rivers, the whole right side of this hole. That's what I'm nervous about right now. You but gotta start at left if you're gonna fade it at all. Okay. Also, everything on this, it slopes left to right. So if you hit that hill where the, where the maintenance guy is, everything is gonna run down right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I like it, as long as it stays. 
Hold. I think it's good. Yeah, fairway. Well, right rough. First cut. There you go. I'm happy with that. That's a great shot. You gotta play the blacks on this hole. I think it's a must. I mean, the blues are nice too. You're right next to the river, but this elevation is what it's all about. Starting to cut back a little. Oh, that's gonna be what you want. Is everything gonna work right? Ooh, it just got caught up a little bit in the rough. Otherwise, that rolls down to the middle. Okay. Anything left side of the fairway rolls to the middle. You got a shot in. Yep. I like it a lot, Frank. Look at that thing. See what I mean about playing one less? I play one less club and I'm still to the back of the green here. Alright. So always play one less on your approach on this hole. Okay. Pretty good miss. Hey, in all my days playing golf, I've never seen someone take a tee shot with the putter cover in their back pocket. <laughs> Is that a new training aid back there you got? <laughs> yeah. I was looking for it. I've never seen that before. <laughs> oh, that's a good play. So this 13th hole is cool because it's a completely blind tee shot, but this system tells you where the other carts are. It's not like the, the old fashioned way we used to have to drive up that hill drive and see if it was see. clear. Yeah, that's true. But now I can see they're up by the green, so we're good to hit. Great shot. All right, I hit 60 degree, nice and tight. Probably got about five feet for birdie. Frank is there, third shot. He came up short because he went under that tree, as you saw. Did not quite get it all the way to the green, but let's see if he can up and down this for par. Uh, come on down, here it comes. Go all the way to that hole, look at this. Look at this, go with the hole. Ooh. Oh, now it's gotta settle. Now you gotta settle. You went from one fringe to the other. One fringe to the other, unbelievable. Guy knows his course. All right, Mike, I love this part three as it closes to the pin hole. You want to play a little closest to the pin? Yeah, man, let's do that. Come you on. brought the tape measure, we might as well, right? There you go. Hopefully we'll need it. All right, we've got a 125 yard shot at this part three. Obviously it's all protected in front by bunkers. Um, you go too long and it's gonna be a tough shot coming back, but you, you just wanna, you don't wanna stay short. If you're short in those bunkers, it makes for a difficult day. Right. Obviously anything right too runs way down that hill. Okay. But the pin is in a good position. That pin is in a closest position. I really like it. And, and closest, uh, we're, we're doing some filming up at the Sagamore Lake George. How about loser buys the winner a nice beer? Ah, drink of choice. Yeah, first round is on the loser. Let's okay. All right, he was not kidding. He does have that tape measure with him. So he's got confidence. I came prepared with confidence. Let's go. Okay, good line. Little long. Little long. Tape's gonna be long. All right, we're gonna go 48. Okay. Now oh, it's gotta hold Let's on. Sit on it, sit. Oh, I got a bad kick. Bad kick. You got me. I got we you. don't even need the tape measure. All right, no measure. Left today. side of the green and it's shot left. All right, good job. Rounds on me. Top shelf. <laughs> Top shelf. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's got a chance. It's got a great chance. Go! <laughs> Tell you what, though, cars are always good, right? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's how you're gonna sing on every shot now. That's a tough out. Go. 
right, 18th hole. Um, ends with a, with a par three here. And remember how I said my father had one hole in one on that other hole? Well, he's got two on this one. Now, granted, he's probably played this hole 1,500 times in his life, but he does have two here. And again, I've got zero. So, long shot, tough shot where they put the pin today, Mike. It's a 200 yard shot here. Um, I know for a fact, I remember, because I have a picture on my wall, in fact, my father, one of his hole in ones, I believe, was 178. It was playing that day. I believe. Let's see how good my memory is. I think it was 178. But anyway, it's playing. Where are we at right now? Being somewhere about 196 in the middle. I think 199. Back right. Tough par three to finish. What's he got there? Five? Five I like that play. Oh, and this is not one you want to push right. I can see that. Yeah. You ruin someone's day. You ruin someone's day. Right, but that was the right distance. Yep. Another guy here playing, I think it was about 10, 15 years ago, won a Corvette on this hole. <laughs> you know when they have it at the outings? Sure. They had a Corvette parked right there. He put it in, drove off. That's what I would do. Yep. Leave the clubs and everything. Imagine that. that, that that's the epitome of a walk off. That's all you <laughs> Put it in the hole, get in the Corvette, drive off. Just go. Yep. Yeah, I got a little fat. A little fat, left side. Left chip and side. putt, chip and putt. I wasn't confident that the five was enough. Okay, dipped it. All right, guys, so that is a wrap on West Hills, a place that I've played many times. Mike has joined me quite a few times. Oh, yeah. And a place we're going to play quite a few times more, but. Guys, really cool. Like I said, you got to check this place out. Incredible bargain. I mean, what you, for the, the condition this place is in, for what you would pay for a membership in like Westchester or North Jersey, it's almost incomparable. It's a great bargain. And they, the nice thing is right now, they do have some membership spots available. It does fill up quick. So what we'll do is we'll throw a link in the video description. If you guys want to find out more information, Come join us out here, man. This is a, it's like a little hidden yeah. gem, right? I love all the renovations. I haven't played this in a couple years, and I am loving it. That second hole was a treat. Yeah. With Plus, like I said, you get the double kicker of there's that par three course right there. That's right. Which we're going to go out there and have a little fun yeah. with. In a few moments, we're going to practice some short game work. But like I said, great place. Check them out. Hit that link. And huge thanks to West Hills yeah, for hosting thanks. us. Because like I said, it's always a treat when we play here. See you guys.